Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and finally today we have MIUI 10 for MI A1 and huge thanks to developers who have been continuously working to port this and finally it is ported now and it can be easily installed on MI A1 installation process can be found at the end of the video so guys I have already installed it on my device first let me show you the software information going to my device all specs and here you can see MIUI version 10 which is 8.7.12 base Android version is 7.1.2 that is no gut. Security patch level is 1st June 2018. And the model name you can see here MIA1. No issues with the storage which says 50 GB available out of 64. And guys this is one of the stable ROM based on MIUI 10 for MIA1. So as you can see here the new quick setting panel, the volume panel, power menu along with the new redesign recents panel. And the best part of this ROM is it also supports OTA update. So if any update available you can directly check using the OTA update app which is available on this. And separately you guys don't even have to root the device. The ROM is pre-rooted with Magis 17.1 and which also passes safety net check. So now let's take a look at the ROM. Talking about the Volt services as you can see I'm using my Geo SIM card and here you can see device is HD capable. So there are no issues with the Volti services you can make calls using Geo SIM cards. After that you have camera application that also has no issues everything is available like portrait mode, video recording in which time lapse slow motion is available and video quality can be changed up to 4K. Google Play Store comes pre-installed on this ROM so you don't require any third party application to install this. So let's go to the settings panel here you can see Wi-Fi is working fine no issues with the Wi-Fi services moving on to the Bluetooth here I have used my Bluetooth device so that you can see under paired devices so no issues with the Bluetooth device also. Then we have portable hotspot which is working fine no issues in that going to display here brightness level adaptive brightness is also working with no issues double tap to wake is also working then going under wallpaper here you have few wallpapers pre-installed under themes we have only one theme available but you can add your MI account and download more themes from the theme store sound and vibration you have all new sounds available which comes on MIUI 10 then we have lock screen and password under which fingerprint sensor is working fine and we also have face unlock option so I've already added my face data let me show you that and once I press the power key and device gets instantly unlocked so no delay with the face unlock after that notification and status bar here we have show notification count show connection speed you can also change battery indicator to percentage under home screen and recents we have few options related to launcher moving on to full screen display this room also supports full screen gestures so as you can see I've already enabled it here and if you want you can enable buttons and there is no issue with the buttons also and if you want to enable full screen gestures you can use them from here which have no issues then we have second space option battery and performance in which we have smart scene option and whenever your device detects that you are sleeping it will close all the background applications restricting things like bluetooth gps mobile data then we have few additional settings which includes one hand mode headphone and audio effects and buttons and gesture shortcut under accounts we have no issues adding our MI account no issues under dual app also so I've created dual app for magisk and here you can see we have two magisk available now so guys this was a quick look on MIUI 10 for MI A1 and if you guys are looking for a daily driver then you can use it only one bug which I have noticed or which they have mentioned on their forum that is that you don't get notification on the lock screen and I'll be using this ROM for few days and after that I'll get back to you guys with a complete review. So now moving on to the installation process. To install MIUI 10 on MI A1 first you need to unlock your bootloader and you should have TWRP recovery installed. So I already have TWRP recovery installed on my device and along with that you need to have these many files. One is the ROM file that is epic ROM MIUI 10 then recovery file and the user data file. Place all these files inside the ADB folder itself and also make sure to take a complete backup of your device because this will wipe the entire internal storage of your device so make sure to take a backup after that what you need to do is you need to flash this user data file so to flash this user data file boot your device into fast boot mode 
so go to reboot and tap bootloader once a device is in fast boot mode go to the same folder where you have all these files available so first what we'll do is we'll flash the user data file copy the name from here and then you need to open up command prompt under the same folder itself there are two ways to open command prompt one is hold shift and right click in the same folder it will give you an option of open powershell here and the second method is you can type cmd in the address bar type cmd and hit enter that will open up command prompt so now we'll flash the user data file to flash the user data file copy the name from here go to cmd that is command prompt and type fastboot flash user data again user data followed by .img as it's a image file and hit enter and this user data file is from mi5x which is based on nougat so now once you are done with this now let's boot a device into recovery so to boot into recovery what i'll do is i'll again copy the recovery file name and give a command to boot into recovery i'll type fastboot boot and paste the name of recovery followed by .img once done hit enter and now your device will boot into twrp recovery after device boots into twrp swipe allow modification let me decrease the brightness and after that copy the rom file inside the internal storage copy from here and paste it inside the internal storage of your device once file is copied inside the internal storage go to install and flash this file that is epic rom So now I have successfully flashed this room. What you have to do is you just need to hit reboot system and boot up might take somewhere around 10 to 12 minutes. And as you can see device boots up now you can complete the initial setup and you are good to go. So guys as of now only this much in this video if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below. And if you like my work then do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.